Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be focused on getting NordVPN set up on this bad boy here, the TP-Link X50. A few of you guys have left comments in my previous videos saying that you've had issues setting up NordVPN. So I took an opportunity to go ahead and create a walkthrough, show you guys how to get that set up. So let's jump All right. right. This walkthrough is going to work on the TP-Link Deco X50. I believe it's going to work on the different ranges of the TP-Link. So, uh, but this one, uh, what I'm using is the X50. Uh, so I know it works on this one. So, so basically I did not have NordVPN. So I had to go ahead and subscribe in order to make this video for you guys. So, um, yeah, so I did that. I signed up for a free trial. Now that my NordVPN is working, I can head up over to the account. It's easier to do it from the mobile app, but I'm going to show you how to do it on the website as well. It's the same process. You're going to go over, you're going to authenticate, you're going to scroll down, find the VPN. Then you're going to generate a new token. It's going to prompt you for two factor. It's going to email, plug that in. Then you're going to be able to create and generate a new token. The token is needed in order to, to log in via the NordVPN app. So let me go ahead and show you that uh, on the mobile app. So I just went to the Nord account. Um, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to scroll down. I'm going to get the access token option. I'm going to go ahead and click that. It's going to ask me to verify. I'm going to do the two factor. It's going to send an email to your to your registered email. You go ahead and plug that in. Once you've done that, you can go ahead and create a new token. So go ahead and do that. And once that has been set up, uh, the benefit of doing it on the mobile app is that you can go ahead and just directly copy the token as I've done there and go right over to back to your Deco app. Um, the, the option will be meeting is VPN client. Go ahead and select NordVPN. Go ahead and select I have a token. Go ahead and copy paste your token in confirm. And you can see uh, the list of servers that are available, which is, I, I would say, whatever you get on their client, the VPN client on your mobile device, um, on your desktop device as well. So I'm going to go ahead and select a server location and just go ahead and show you that process. So now it's connecting and once it's connected, you can see that uh, Berlin, Germany has been selected. I'm gonna go ahead and switch to Montreal, Canada and you can see that that's connected. One very important thing, um, what I noticed also, which I did not know beforehand, was that you need to then select which clients get access to this VPN client. So I think that's kind of cool that they separate um, blanketed access, which which what I thought would be enabled from the get-go, but it's not. Uh, so it's se selected for a client list. In client list, you need to go in and select each client that you want to use this VPN connection, which is kind of cool. So if you don't want to bother uh, the other people in your house, or if you only want your phone to access a certain region, then you can do that via, um, yeah, you can do that via the Pico app. Um, but I have selected all, so all my devices will now show as I'm in Brazil. And you can see that um, what's my IP is showing that location. So hopefully guys, you learned something new today. Um, hopefully you can get your NordVPN set up. So guys, if you really enjoyed this video, please, I would consider you giving me a like and subscribe and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Thank you all.